How we doing guys? Myself, Chris Freddy, OBE, hitting with a quick one. Real talk, truth season, Brixton Massacre. That's what I'm calling it, the Brixton Massacre, where a young boy runs into a Caribbean restaurant and starts letting off shots. Alarm bells ringing. Are we all right? Are we okay? There's an old man in the shop. That's someone's dad, That's someone's granddad. Are you all right? No, seriously now, are you man them all right? Because you're getting me mad right now. It's funny how you man are bad man, but you can't back up and be a bad man and say, what, come and meet up then and do this thing. You want to put innocent people and bystanders in the way. You man are dickheads, you man are moist. I don't care, I don't condone it, and I'm saying it straight. How dare you? How dare you let off a shot inside a Caribbean restaurant where there could be a young person, there could be a child, there could be a mother, and you man are doing that just to socially capture ops? Take a look at this, bruv. I don't care. I don't normally show it, but I'm showing it. Take a look at this. You see that? Man letting off bare shots, you know? You see the way the boy was looking around like, bro, I swear that's my man, I swear my man's coming back. You try and shut the door and then you wanna push past the old man. You see the way he pushed past the old man? The old man could have got a heart attack. Are we okay? Are you not all right? No, no, listen seriously, right now, guys, we need to wake up. Now, real talk, we need to wake up. Because everyone keeps complaining, oh, Chris is getting out of control, Chris is getting out of control. Snitch on them. You know who they are, you know what's going on in your community, but no one don't want to snitch on them, no one don't want to talk to the police. All right, cool, so let's push the police to the side right now. How much of you guys are going to start policing your community? Yeah, I said it, and I'll say it again. How much of you guys are going to police your community? Get out of your house now. Go downstairs and start patrolling your area, looking for nice, patrolling your area, talking to young people, patrolling your area, making sure your area is safe. How much people's gonna do that? Oh no, it's too much time, innit? Too much effort, innit? Power is back on now, innit? Certain people are kicking up feet now, you've got stuff to do. I'm sorry, your kids' lives are not important, I'm sorry about that, don't worry. Get back to what you normally do. Get back to scrolling on Instagram, get back to scrolling on Facebook while young people are dying. And we keep sharing it, and sharing it, and sharing it, and sharing it, and sharing it. It's disgusting, guys. I've been seeing kids getting stopped and searched, getting found with big knives, even down to adults. So let's talk about it. So we talk about the young people, but there's adults as well, running around with big boy machetes and big boy knives. So where are they learning it from? I'll say it again. Where are they learning it from? So it's funny how we can always blame the young people, but it's their mindset. And do you know what? I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Like I said, if I was 16 back in nowadays, I'd probably be on a mad thing as well because there's no one guiding me. There's no opportunities for them. There's no youth clubs. There's no understanding where we're going to actually pull them up and show them role models. Where's the role models? Where's the future understanding of this is our future? No, 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 we don't want to do that. But everyone keeps complaining. Complaining about the government, complaining about the police. Do something about it. There's five, six hundred people in your community. Why don't we put our money together and then we can buy the youth club outright. So then we can actually start making sure that we're building our young people. We're making sure that they've got after school club and they're making sure they've got homework club and certain activities for making them sure that they're active, making sure that they're doing certain things. Because you know the reasons why there's a lot of deaths on our streets? Let's keep it real. Boredom. Kids have got too much time doing nothing. Playing computer, doing dumb stuff. They're not educating their mind. We're not feeding them guys. So we need to wake up right now and start feeding our young generation because this is what we're gonna get. Constant death, constant shooting. Don't blame them, blame you. Blame you for not stepping up. Blame you for not getting up. Blame you for not doing nothing about it apart from moaning. Everybody always wants to say our two pence, two pence, two pence. But these are our kids, guys. Yeah, that's someone's son. That's someone's child. Did you see that boy sliding on the floor because he's been shot? Was he a part of that? Was he not a part of that? Who knows anymore? Everybody's up for collateral damage, and this is why it worries me. Because when I saw this, I was like, wow, man, them don't care. Like, you know, like back in the day, like, man, them would care. Like, man, them would be like, no, nah, man's not gonna do that. There's people in there, and what if someone gets hurt? And they don't care about nothing. Everyone's collateral damage. Man just started shooting. I don't even think he knew where he was shooting. He wasn't even trying to aim for his target. He just knew the target was in there, and he started letting off shots. There's five, six, seven people in there. Sickening guys, we need to wake up and we need to wake up fast. Or 
Oh, I've got a solution for you guys. Oh, shut up. Because this is what we want. Negativity is what we want. Negativity is what we thrive off these days. Let's keep it real. Like I said, I put up a positive post. How much views did that get? I guarantee you how much views is this one going to get. So don't sit there and complain about stuff that we want and stuff that we need to be doing when nobody's doing it. Or if not, when people are doing it, no one shines a light on it. It's sickening, guys. Day in, day out, we're constantly seeing deaths on our streets.